<laughs> She's looking at me as if to say, what the F are you doing? <laughs> oh, bless her. Right. <clears throat> Let's get to what I've been doing. Yes, yes, yes. This is EFES batteries off e Amazon. Uh, 3,500 each. And uh, there's... 10 there and this these are all in parallel to give out 4.2 volts or 3.7 volts whichever way you want to look at it and i've got a c-type charger on the bottom and a c-type charger on the top and these are reclaimed from old battery banks so i've taken them apart and saved all of these charge controller usb out things and i can basically plug one in there one in there and charge it quite good and this is just out for USBs, and that is all it is. But I could put a DC converter on there and have up to how many volts I need. But yeah, that is really nice. That is just gorgeous. These EFES cells, guys, are absolutely fantastic. Really, really good batteries. And these are the clips that I've used. These are reclaimed batteries out of laptop batteries and of course when they're thrown away it's normally due down to one cell causing the whole lot to go bad so of course you throw them out take them apart put them on charge if it gets hot of course it's a dead battery or if it doesn't get hot and just doesn't doesn't charge it means it's a dead battery and of course always keep an eye on when you're charging them guys because these are not good to be left on their own charging they're safe but it's always best to be safe double safe <clears throat> and this is built from reclaimed batteries and these these cells are really really good they're 90 percent good and this is a 12 volt pack i've got one balance charger on this side doing these and i've got another one balance charger doing these and of course these are in parallel to give an output which will power a ups and of course i could plug a soldering iron in there and start soldering and this thing will last a long time, 98,000 milliamps, guys. Holy crap. 98,000 milliamp hour. That is going to last a long time. I could probably start a car off that thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's charge you. Let's try and start a tank. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But yeah, Velcro on the top, so you can just quickly straight get to them if you need to do any repairs or solder anything else on there and it's on bottom and top and it protects it from getting shorted out on anything so yeah uh, <clears throat> this is a charge balance charger and they're quite easy to solder up uh, let's just put that back on its roof on the top of it should I say so of course looking at this that goes to the negative Let's just tap this and get it. There we go. That goes to positive. That goes to positive, and that goes to positive. So it's basically in a line. So back of the first cell, front of the first cell, in front of the second cell, and in front of the third cell. So to basically give you out your output, and it charges them all at each point of contact. So if you're not sure, just have a look online, guys, uh, to find out how to solder these up but they're quite uh, quite good and of course you've got uh, positive and negative there as well on a, an output uh, so yeah so or I think you can I think you could if I remember rightly you can charge and get an output from those as well <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna charge that using solar panels and of course this you could charge this from solar panels as well with a well, you know, they basically can do anything with them. This is battery bank. Do whatever you want with it. Take it anywhere, power anything. Take that with you, power anything. Use it as a portable char uh, solar charger and whatever. This, you know, the world is your oyster, guys. Uh, these are some charge little char DC DC converters. And of course, you could put that on there and have a 30 volt output if you wanted to. <clears throat> this is one I've put onto a board so I can basically quick connect to it. Oh, I mean, it's really hard when you're using a mobile phone to charge uh, to video things. I've put a heat sink on it to keep it cooler because the uh, 
the coil on there, which is there up, these get quite hot. Even at 2 amps, they start to get quite hot. So I put a heat sink on there and it helps them to keep cool. <clears throat> Don't use these because these are crap, the pins start getting quite hot. They're, they're good for low low currents, but if you want to you know, use it for anything else above uh, 2 amps or whatnot, uh, definitely use these things and one of these. All right. So, let's turn that UPS off. <clears throat> That's what I've been doing. So, look forward to some changes, guys. Uh, you know, I'll try and upload us upload videos whenever I can for you uh, to keep you entertained if you're new to the channel please subscribe and of course leave any comments down below they're always welcome I do try and uh, read them all and the previous video comments very kind guys thank you very much and of course give us a thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like the video not a problem I don't mind as long as I can put a smile on somebody's face <laughs> take care guys speak again in the next video That is just so beautiful. <laughs>